Question 6. Web design. Note an HTML tag sheet has been attached for reference. All files needed to complete this question are found in the examination folder. One mark will be allocated for the correct use of tags, triangular brackets and correct nesting for both the web pages. So you actually get one mark for completing the tags correctly and doing your triangular brackets and everything correctly. All right, so 6.1, open the incomplete 6.1 Nat Geo web page in a web browser and also in a text or HTML editor, not a word processing document such as Word. Note question numbers appear as comments in the coding to guide you to where to insert the answers. Do not delete these comments. Okay, very important. So here's an example of what the completed page should look like. And we're going to refer back to this a few times. Note, use the example on the previous page as a guide for answering this question. 6.1.1 Insert HTML tags to center the text that starts with pyramids and ends with other features. Now let's just double check. So it needs to start from there all the way to there. All of this needs to be centered. Okay. 6.1.1. This is where we need to in insert the tag. You'll see there is my comment for me to insert it over here. And it's all the text up to here. All this text needs to be centered. All right. So I've got two options. My one option is to go put a paragraph center align tag um, in each on each of these paragraphs um, and with the picture that I'm going to insert here as well. My other option is, is to actually use the center tag. Now the center tag is not on your HTML tag sheet, but if you've ever practiced um, some HTML uh, coding, especially some of the past papers, you will have seen this a few times. Um, they use the center tag, and um, they've used it before in the actual questions from past papers. Um, not as a question, but just as a tag in the papers. So let's save and see if that works. There you go, see. So it's actually centered all of these without me trying to g jump through lots of hoops to have to center each of these paragraphs individually which would have been a lot more effort. So open and close the tags. There you go. Much easier. 6.1.2. Locate the heading pyramids and format it as follows. Apply the heading one style to this heading. Set the font of this heading to papyrus. So I'm making it a heading one. Just be careful, lots of people when they look at the tag sheet thinks this is an L and it's actually a 1. Okay, heading level 1. And then I need to change the font to papyrus. So I'm just adding the font tag first and then I'm going to change it to font face papyrus. Okay. There you go. Now let's just have a look at the tag sheet here. This is what they give you. So you'll see I had to put in font opening tag and font closing tag at the back of the text that I'm trying to change the font. And this is a H1, not an HL. It's the largest heading. So it's a heading one. Okay. 6.1.3. Insert the image six group below the first paragraph that ends with the text complex mortuary temple. So here's the complex mortuary temple. If we ex if we saw the example, there was a big picture here right here. Hey, so I'm going to insert the picture here. It's 6.1.3. They show me to do it here anyway. The tags for an image is IMG. SRC to specify the source and they gave me the source it is let's have a look again quickly 
6 group JPEG. There you go. 6.1.4 An attempt was made to create a link on the heading The Future of the Pyramids to the website www.crystal.com. Modify the link so that the website www.crystal.com will open in the web browser. I'm just going to copy that because I'm lazy to type. Do not click on the link, they say. Please note, do not click on the link. Right, let's go see what we've got. 6.1.4. Right, so here it is, the future of the pyramids. This is supposed to be the link. Um, let's just double check that quickly. Uh, if we have a look here, yes, it is that entire heading that's supposed to be the, the link. I can see that from the screenshot. Okay, so um, the problem is this should be an anchor as well, hey? They've already put the end anchor tag in for me, and now I just need to put in the H reference website. Save and close. And there you go. And they said, do not click on the link. So I'm not going to click on the link because it's probably not a real website. 6.2. Open the incomplete 6.2 facts web page in a web browser and also in a text HTML editor, not a word processing program such as Word. Hint, use the tags given in the attached HTML tag sheet. Complete the web page to appear as follows. Okay, so there's our screenshot. Let's go see what we've got. So I've got the 6.2 facts open over here and I've got it open over here. Gosh, that's very far off from what it needs to look like, hey? So I need to create a table with one, two, three rows. Do you see that? The first row has table headings, not table data. Let's just use that over here. I'm just going to show you. Well, let me, I'm going to keep the Afrikaans one open for the screenshot and I'll use the English one for the tags. So you'll see here, I've, I'm going to use the table heading, table header, a cell with a bold centered text for these three. Okay. And the table data, the cell in the table, I'm going to use for the other six. But I need to use a row for each row. Okay, so I've got three rows. And then we need to do this bulleted list at the bottom there. And that's an unordered list because it's a bulleted list. It's a circle type. Okay. And each bullet is a list item inserted before each list item and adds a number of symbol and adds a number or symbol depending on the type of list selected. So that's what we've all got to do. Um, I'm not sure about this um, uh, horizontal rule, but I'm going to insert that anyway because I'm not sure if it's there already. So that's an HR because that looks like a horizontal rule. Okay, so let's get cracking. That's a lot of work to do. Okay, yes, that's not there. So let's do that first. So I'm going to start off with the horizontal rule. Then let's get cracking here. Okay, so they've got the table open. They gave me a table, but I need to close it. Now, if I remember correctly, Right, the table closes after 1.30, do you see? So it's after this. Okay, that's not going to change much over there. Now what we need to do is we need to insert a table row. That's the first table row. Second table row. And the third table row. Okay, again, not going to do anything until I actually put data in there. So now, like in table data cells, 
Right, so the first three we said are bold, so they need to be bold and centered, so they need to be th's, th and th. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. Very important to end them as well. It's fine to copy and paste, just actually end them. Let's have a look. There you go, there we're getting somewhere. Okay, these need to be normal cells, so that's a TD. And I'll just copy and paste. Save and refresh. Okay, let's see what that looks like compared to our example. Number question answer. Yes, yes, yes. I don't see anything else centered or in an odd alignment or anything. So I think that's it. And now we just need to do our bulleted list at the bottom here. Hey, I think this line might have been underneath the break, hey, because their line is a bit lower. So let's do that. Mm, no, I don't know. But anyway, okay. Now this is one big unordered list. And each of these are a list item and in the list item. Now I'm going to copy and paste. And then let's see what that looks like so, so far. So by the way, if you're doing HTML and you do it a lot, you can just press Control S for save, um, Alt Tab to switch between your uh, notepad and your um, HTML browser, whichever one you're using, and F5 to refresh. Okay, so we've got our bullets. The last thing we just need to do is we need to make it a uh, type circle. There you go, save and refresh. There you go, and we're done with HTML.